Anyway, let me continue, folks. All right, we're going to get to the first ghosties. All right, we've waited long enough because of you people. So we're going to go ahead and go to the ghost uh, first ghosties 2003. And the first ghosties 2023 is the best shout-out name. Now, there was a lot of folks that voted on this, but there was a general consensus of not just the folks that voted, but also the folks in the Thunderdome and the Inner Circle. And the winner is, folks, all right? All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. The winner is, for the best shout-out name, Anything with Rock Ape. All right. Now, this was a general consensus amongst people that were voting on hashtag Ghosties2023 on Twitter and the folks that were DMing me and all the avenues in which people were voting. And look, I'm not very happy with this because I think this is fucked up. I mean, uh, Rock Ape was a person that belonged in the inner circle that died of cancer. And, uh, you know, for some reason, when I announced that and dedicated a show to him, you idiots thought it was a fucking joke. Hey, man, I'm an eagle and I love onions, fish tank rules, onions. All right, dude, enough of that shit, all right? Anyway, unfortunately, we have an honorable mention also, and the envelope, please. Anything with Jag the Lux Ray or F-A-G the Lux Ray, okay? So those are the, those are the winners, all right? We've got... Anything with Rock Ape is the winner of the shout-out name of the year of 2023. And anything with Jag the Lux Ray. So I hope you trolls are happy. I'm sure Jag the Lux Ray's not feeling too good about it. I can tell you that right now, all right? Anyway, let's get to one more video, and then we're going to get to the next Ghosties, which is Best Remix. The next Ghostie, all right? Here it is right here. The next Ghostie is Best, best Remix. And we went through everybody who nominated who they thought the best remix was. And this is it right here. Hold on. I mean, this was a general consensus here, all right? The winner is... The winner is, for best remix, Ghosties 2023 is... The Ghost AI version of My Way by Sinatra, all right? And there are so many people that voted for that. And uh, that one for this year... Ghosties 2023, all right, Ghost AI, My Way by Sinatra. So that one is the remix of the year, all right, 2023. Now, we do have one honorable mention that was mentioned many times. In the envelope, please, for that, all right? Play it. I don't fucking have it. I don't, hold on, I don't even have it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. What is this, Ghost AI? I don't even have it, dude. It was played by... I think it was played on um, on Radio Graffiti or some shit. I think it was uh, played on Radio Graffiti. Let me see if I can find it here. Right, I'll try to do a damn YouTube search for it. No, I can't find it, dude. All right. If somebody links me to it, I'll play it, but uh, I can't find it. That was actually played on like a fucking radio... Either Radio Graffiti or some shit like that. All right, but it is a remix... All right, it is a remix. All right, that's what it AI. That's what it is. A remix was like splices put into a song. Now that you got AI, you know. Anyway, the second one, which was also I think played on Radio Graffiti for best remix, honorable mention, Ghosties twenty twenty three, illegals in my yard, illegals in my yard, illegals in my yard. Remember that. So those two right there. All right, are the ones that are winner and honorable mention to the best remix of Ghosties 2023. All right, winner, Ghost AI, My Way by Sinatra, and honorable mention, Illegals in My Yard, okay? So anyway, we got uh, Anime Capitalist. I'm not Anime Capitalist. I'm Anime Extremist and Weeb Extremist. I have no idea who Anime Capitalist is. If I won an award, please don't screw me out of it. Well, I, I got to talk. I, look, we just found votes, all right, right now. We just got some mail-in ballots here, all right? And the, the engineer is counting them right now, okay? Engineer, count those mail-in ballots that just came in, please, okay? All right, anyway, let's go ahead and get to the next Ghosties Award. And the next Ghosties Award is Best AI or Splice, okay? Now, let me tell you. 
A lot of people voted. Let me go ahead and open up the envelope, okay? Best AI or splice. The envelope. And believe it or not, the general consensus was any kind of Helmet Boy collabs this year is now the best AI or splice. Any Helmet Boy collabs. Now, I don't know if y'all have been listening to Radio Graffiti this year, but uh, Helmet Boy has been collabing with all kinds of people, all right? Uh, uh, you know, fucking Art Hammond, you know, uh, Ghosto, uh, you know, some people in some other fucking tarred fucking chat rooms and shit. And, you know, he's put a lot of effort and energy and time. Moreover, uh, Helmet Boy was also, and, and also Prolapse Pete, uh, they were responsible once again for this. I don't know if y'all saw this. Last year, they put up on Times Square that I was going to get married to Pippa. This year, this is what they did in a Times Square uh, situation here. Take a look at this. All right, this is what they did. All right, did y'all see? This is on Times Square. This was broadcasted on Times Square. Ghost wishes everyone a happy new year. And uh, so that, that that right there is it. But any, and I don't know about the Al Chappers. You didn't have to put Al Chappers on Times Square, for Christ's sake. You didn't have to put Al Chappers up there. It looks fucking Art Hammond. Uh, but anyway, any uh, Helmet Boy collabs had been the best AI or splices this year. Now, we do have an honorable mention that we need to mention. And let's go ahead and take a look at that here. Let me go ahead and open up the envelope for honorable mention, best AI or splice, 2023. All right? And the winner is, for best honorable mention, Proud Bad Dragon. Believe it or not. All right? The cookie monster of the Ghost Show community. Yeah, that's right, Ghost. That guy, he is also an honorable mention, all right, for the best splicer AI kind of thing. So, once again, cheers to Helmet Boy being the winner of this category and, and all those that collab with Helmet Boy. I do want to give them acknowledgement like uh, Art Hammond, Ghosto. Uh, I think they, you know, even West Coast Capitalist, believe it or not, collab with them. B- Barry Blackberry, that fucking tard. Uh, Froppy. So, cheers to all them and cheers to Pat, Proud Bad Dragon. Honorable mention, okay? But there's still plenty of awards to go. So the night's still young. So let's go ahead and get to another video or two, and then we'll get to the next category on the Ghosties. And the next category is Best Fail Troll of the Year. All right, that's the next category. Best Fail Troll of the Year. All right. But anyway, now is the time for Best Fail Troll 2023 Ghosties. And let's get to the envelope, please. All right. Best Fail Troll. All right. Let me open up the envelope here. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me, dude. All right, I didn't know this. All right, I didn't know this was happening. I, is somebody trolling me here? Are you trolling me, engineer? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Do I actually have to say this fucking name? Do I actually have to say the, for best fail troll? Are you fucking kidding me? The best fail troll for 2023, believe it or not, is Black fucking Barry. All right, Barry fucking Blackberry is fucking fail troll of the year, 2023. You've got to be shitting me, man. I fucking hate that tard. I can't stand that fucking tard. And watch, Barry Blackberry's, you know, if I do radio graffiti, he's going to call up and be like, I'd like to thank all the, the little people that are out there that made Barry Blackberry who he is today. I will never forget you, little people. All right? I I never forget you, little people. So anyway, that was Barry Blackberry. I hope you're happy, Barry Blackberry. As a matter of fact, you know who dominated the best fail troll category for the past several years in a row, if I'm not mistaken? West Coast Capitalist. West Coast Capitalist actually was on top of this category for years. And it has now been dethroned from by Barry Blackberry, okay? Now, we do have an honorable mention, okay? The, this was an honorable mention that was definitely voted on. So, all right, this wasn't some rigging situation, all right? 
We went through painstaking efforts to look at every goddamn vote that came in on hashtag ghosties or in the comments at ghost.report or if you tweeted them at whatever the case might be. All right. So the honorable mention for fail troll 2023 is envelope. Believe it or not, yak ass the Park Street legend. Yak ass the Park Street legend. People actually voted him because believe it or not, a lot of people did not like West Coast capitalists, all right? Especially on this show. A lot of people liked him in the Thunderdome, and they're a little upset that he got kicked out because of Yak Ass. And for all those that don't know, Yak Ass dropped $900 to have West Coast removed from the community. I'm not even joking around. Dropped $900 to have West Coast capitalists removed from all chat rooms and removed from, I mean, he just, he just, he didn't like him. He's like, yeah, I, yeah I, I'm going to try to do a yak ass voice. You know, he's kind of a fucking loser, ghost. And I fucking can't stand him. Won't you name me your price? And he first started off at like 500. And I was like, I can't do this, dude. I, I can't, I can't do it. And he's like, ghost, I'm fucking serious, man. Fucking 600. I'll fucking do it right now. I'll send it to you right now. And I was like, dude, I don't want to do it. You know what I'm going to do? Fucking eight fucking hundred dollars, dude. All right, eight hundred fucking dollars. I'll do it right now. And I was like, dude, I don't want to do it. He's like, all right, look, fucking nine hundred. I'll do it right now. I was like, nine hundred? Seriously, nine hundred? Yeah, dude, I'll fucking do it right now. Nine hundred dollars. Remove West Coast. I don't want to see him. I don't want to fucking hear him again. I'm tired of him, dude. And I said, okay, give me nine hundred. I'll do it. He fucking did it. Absolutely fucking did it. So, once again, yak ass honorable mention for best fail troll 2023. And of course, the winner of this category is Barry Blackberry. So, and once again, y'all saw at the beginning of the show, yak ass dropped another 400 to, for me to remove somebody else. So, I got, I got to deal with that shit. Y'all saw that at the beginning of the show. He donated another $400 for me to remove Cali, dude, which I, I can't remove Cali, dude. Cali dude has been around since the fucking Bill Wagner crew days, for fuck's sake. I mean, that was a long time. It was like fucking 2010, 2009 and shit. So, anyway. I, no, it's not $900 to get rid of people, all right? I did. I, I, that was an isolated incident, okay? That was an isolated incident, and that, that is not the price to remove people, all right? That's not, it's, no, it's not a grand. Now, dude, look at that. God damn it, you fucking people. All right, let me get to another fucking video, dude, all right? Let's go ahead and get to the next Ghosty Award. And the next Ghosty Award is Best Mexican. All right, now, we tallied all the votes. All right, we tallied all the votes here. And let's go ahead and open up the envelope because I don't even know. I don't even know what the hell this is. All right, now, let's go ahead. The winner is, and we went through extensive research into the all the nominations that were nominated. All right. The best Mexican is for the second or third year in the row, the candy apple kid that sells me tobacco. All right. Now, I don't know why you keep voting for this kid. All right. I should have never have let you know that this was my connection for tobacco. But uh, people were nominating other people. Who the hell is Rem Lazar? And I didn't even know they were Mexican. All right. I have to know they're like legitimately Mexican. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sancho won last year. My bad. Sorry, Sancho. Uh, they have to be legitimately Mexican. I don't know if Rem Lazar is fucking Mexican. I mean, give me a break. Who the fuck is Rem Lazar? I never fucking even talked to this idiot. I At least I know that the candy apple kid is, uh, you know, he's a fucking legitimate Mexican. You know, so like I said, not only did I hook it up with tobacco with him uh, uh, this holiday season, I bought tamales from his fucking Willita there, whoever the fuck lives with him. You know what I mean? So anyway, speaking of Sancho, honorable mention, none other than Sancho 13. All right? All right, because he was last year's winner. I know he's Mexican. And I don't know what happened to the pet Mexican. He went away somewhere. Uh, you know, there's, I don't know, there's not too many, like, out in the open Mexicans. You know, the, a lot of the Mexicans are kind of keeping it on the down low because a lot of people in most chats are racist pieces of crap. And, you know, they're like, uh, they're, they're, they're not 
out and proud about it. They're like, all right, let, let's not uh, talk about us being Americano over here, these uh, pinche cabachos over here in the chat room. They're talking all this shale and, you know, whenever they talk to us, let's pretend we're white, dude. You know, okay, do this fucking way. Then you talk to the Mexicans. You're like, hey, what's going on? How you doing, sir? Yes, uh, we, we love America. Yes, we love you. We love everything. So, anyway... That right there was an honorable mention. And I want to do one more honorable mention because we did get a couple of votes for him. BN King. All right. Once again, honorable mention for Best Mexican 2023. So the winner, Candy Apple Kid, honorable mentions, Sancho 13 and BN King. Uh, I don't know who the fuck Rem Lazar is. I have no fucking idea who that person was. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the Ghosties 2023 and uh, Harari Susamiya. We uh, hooked it up with your Sega girls. I kind of liked that the fact that there was a emphasis of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm not trying to sound like Chris Chan or anything about it, but it was a decent game. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and announce the best tranny slash gay slash lesbo 2023 Ghosties. All right. Now. This came totally as surprised. I almost didn't allow this to happen. All right, all right. So let me let me go ahead. And, let me let me open up the envelope. I already know who the winner is, but let's just formality. Let's just go ahead and see what this is. The winner for best tranny, gay, and lesbo. Believe it or not, you fucking pieces of shit. My gay nephew. All right, my gay fucking nephew, and it's because you people. Like everybody voted, like every that that was like the general consensus. The only other person was Froppy, and he voted for himself. All right, I'm not even joking around. The only guy that voted for Froppy was himself. So anyway, my my gay nephew is now the best tranny, gay or lesbo. I think that he may be, you know, a pretty boy femme or something, and that's how he was able to attract this big buck black guy who plays for a starting position at a university in one of these bowl games that happened here recently. So that's my speculation. All right, I'm just saying. All right, so anyway, best tranny gay lesbo, my nephew. And obviously, I will go ahead and give an honorable mention to none other than Froppy, okay, for best gay. All right, even though he was the only one that voted for himself, by the way, all right? I said bowl game, not bull game, you fucking stupid ass. Look, it's bad enough that you people voted my nephew, my gay nephew, for best gay, tranny, and lesbo for Ghosties 2023. Don't throw salt on the damn wound, man. All right, now we're going to get to another category, and now we're getting into the ethnic categories, okay? And this just goes to show you that Ghost over here is a cultured man, and he's a, you know, he's an equal opportunity guy, all right? And the next category is Best Black. All right? Best Black. This one, I think, according to the judges, actually came down to the wire. But the envelope, please. All right? All right. The winner for Ghosties 2023 Best Black is none other than the Hitman Cause. The Hitman Cause is the new... Black, best black of 2023. And uh, if we get to some radio graffiti, he'll probably be on there and he'll probably give his uh, speech as well as Barry Blackberry, who's best fail troll. But yes, folks, we have the Hitman Cause as best black guy. And I see the Hitman Cause in kick chat. Cheers to the Hitman Cause. Best black guy. 2023 so cheers to you happy new year by the way hitman cause and uh, you kind of deserve it because if you take a look at hashtag ghosties 2023 on twitter everybody and their brother voted for you all right everybody and their brother now unfortunately the other person that was voted for best black guy and i hate to make this an honorable fucking mention but yeah look the chat already knows the chat already fucking knows my gay nephew's boyfriend. 
honorable mention for best black. I'm not. I'm not opening up this fucking envelope for that fucking shit. You fucking idiots made that a reality, and I gotta honor that shit. All right, I gotta honor that shit. Look on hashtag Ghosties2023. You all fucking voted for that garbage. Anyway, thanks for rubbing it in, dude. Look. I'm not entirely happy that my fucking nephew is fucking gay, all right? And he's a power bottom, obviously, or some shit. He's doing something to that black. I don't know what he's doing. I don't want to know. And look, I'm trying to be open-minded about the black uh, nephew, my gay nephew's black boyfriend, all right? I met him on Christmas. He wasn't a bad guy, all right? He wasn't a bad guy. And as I stated, when I, when I saw him on Christmas, you know, I, I talked to him. And we were watching the games. And, dude, he knew how to read offenses. He knew how to read defenses. Fucking unbelievable. And you know what he said to me? And I think I said this before, but it almost brought a tear to my eye. He said, Mr. Ghost, this is my first white Christmas. You know, and I look around and I said, well, it's, it's not snowing out here. What are you talking about? Your white Christmas. No, Mr. Ghost, this is the first Christmas I've had with white people. With white people. And I almost cried. All right? Take that to all you people that think I'm a fucking racist. Take that, for Christ's sake. All right? I hosted a black kid, all right, for Christmas in an all-white family. All right? Take that, liberals, you fucking piece of shit. And he's fucking my goddamn nephew. Take that. buy that for a dollar. Fucking piece of shit. Remember the American Idol rule. The real winner is the one who comes in second place. Oh, come on, nostalgia capitalist. Give me a fucking break. Ghost has a token black family. Dude, shut up, all right? You see, you fucking liberals come up with every fucking excuse when you see a conservative man out here acting more pious than your ass, all right? I had a great granny that inspired me to look past certain things, all right? My granny was a pious woman, she never cursed a day in her life, God rest her soul, all right? Whenever she made any kind of food for us youngins and we had any leftover, she would go and give it to the neighbors, all right? She was a pious woman. I love my granny, and I'm sure she's looking down at me in heaven thinking, that's my boy. That's my baby. That's what she's saying, right? I can feel it. I can feel it right now. That's my baby. Bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, Hold on, we got trolling bong, the bong, interwebs bong, here. Bing, 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 bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing. How about a poem? Hickory Dickory Dock. Ghost's nephew loves black cock. At about half past one, he takes it in the bum. And Ghost likes to keep it in a sock. That's fucked up, dude. Trolling the end, what the fuck is your problem with that shit, dude? All right? It's bad enough that I got to accept that situation in my family, all right? Why do you got to fucking rub the shit and you're twisting the knife? And by the way, it's in my back, by the way, trolling the interwebs. And we got Mama Luigi over there with a the rumble rant. Damn, should have been Derwicking, Tyler One, or Aunt Jemima. Maybe next time. You're talking about Best Black? Are you fucking kidding me, Mama Luigi? Come on, man. All right, let's go ahead and get to another video here. Uh, the next category is Best Mexican... And best enemy bro or brony, all right, are the next two categories we're going to do after a, after a couple of videos here, all right? Because everybody wants their video played. We got a whole shitload of them we have to do. All right, can we get to the next? Uh, oh, yeah. The next Ghosties Award, okay? Let's go ahead and get on with that. Thank you once again, Candy Apple Kid winner, and, of course, Sancho and BN King Honorable Mentions. Let's go ahead and get to... Best anime bro or brony, okay? So let's go ahead and go ahead and take a look at this. All right. Now, we had some votes on this, and it was kind of tough. All right? It was kind of tough. Best anime brony bro, and the winner is, okay? The winner is Envelope. Are you kidding me? Winston fucked up Fujimori, all right? Winston fucked up Fujimori, best anime bro of the year once again. All right, and I'm I'm assuming that the reason is is because he's brought. I mean, it's it's literally Winston Fujimori that has merged, for whatever his motivation is, 
merge the VTuber community with this community. And I know there's a lot of folks that have come from these VTuber communities that are listening to the broadcast. And I appreciate you. And Winston made that happen. All right? All right, Winston made that happen. Winston should have been aborted. Why is everybody fucking talking shit about Winston? Wait a minute. Why is everybody talking shit about Winston? He should have been aborted. What the fuck is that, man? Jesus Christ. Self <laughs> Winston. Winston is an unfunny baguette. Right, dude, that's enough. All right, come on, man. I mean, Winston's done a lot for this fucking community, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ, man. Winston brought the weaves here. Look at look at fucking Vaughn chat shit talk. Even though most of you people talking shit about the anime are fucking anime watchers yourself. You're just trying to fucking flex nut because you don't want to be fucking exposed for doing the same shit. Press W if you think Winston is a baguette. Jeez, dude. Uh, that, look, look, at this, look at these fucking people in Vaughn chat. Uh, look at these fucking people. Jesus Christ. Three times in a row, fuck all you haters, all right? Winston Fujimori just said, all right? Three times in a row, Winston has won this, and he just told you, all of you, fuck you, is what he said. No shit, Winston. Tell them all. Tell them all, fuck you. In the ass with no Vaseline, all right? Because that's what you like or something. But anyway, once again, best anime bro, Ghosties 2023, Winston Fujimori. And look, we do have an honorable mention, okay? We have an honorable mention here. This person was voted on, okay? The winner is, for honorable mention, best anime bro or brony. We have Ann in Philly, believe it or not. Ann in fucking Philly. Now, I don't know if Ann in Philly, you know, got his crew or something to go vote for him. But we had a lot of votes for Ann and Philly. We what, what do you mean the true winner? What are you talking about the true winner, man? I, Winston Fujimori is the f fucking true winner. Ann and Philly is the honorable mention. And look, everybody is posting rigor. I'm a rigor. I'm a dirty rigor now, huh? That's great. That's great. I'm a dirty rigor. <laughs> That's fucking great. That's you, you, you know what? You're dirty riggers, all right? How do you like that shit? Pieces of crap. Let me have a fucking smoke. Look at these people. I'm, I, I didn't rig nothing. I'm going by your votes. You all are filthy, dirty riggers, all right? You fucking pieces of trash. Let me have a smoke, and let me get to another video, because we've got them piled up tonight. We're certainly going to be uh, stealing the night tonight, that's for sure. I almost left. I almost left, but, you know, I didn't. So you, you all should be appreciative. You all should be appreciative that yours truly didn't just get up and leave because I was this close to being like, you know what? Fuck you. All right, fuck you. And Haywood, wait a minute. What kind of link is this? Zookeeper got by Gorilla. I'm not fucking posting. I'm not looking at that, Haywood. What's your problem? The hell's your problem, man? Uh, all right, I think we no, I think we could go on to the next category. All right, let's wait and... Uh, uh, before we go to another video, let's play, or uh, let's go ahead and hook up the next category for Ghosties 2023. And the next category is most memorable meme here, okay, okay, for 2023. And I think this went without question. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and open up the envelope and see best memorable meme for 2023 Ghosties. And the winner is... The winner is Masturbating Hippo, believe it or not. Do y'all remember when I was doing the shows on YouTube? Oh, shit. So, that <sighs> Look, stop it with the fucking doxing, dude. Seriously, you guys are fucking pieces of shit. That's why I'm afraid to raid anybody. Anytime we raid some stream, you fucking idiots find these people somehow and start posting their fucking addresses in their fucking goddamn chat rooms, and now I'm known as some kind of vigilante fucking streamer and shit. Nobody wants to have nothing to do with me now! Anyway, Masturbating Hippo is the most memorable meme of 2023. Uh, actually, I think that... Uh, is the Masturbating Hippo still over there at YouTube? I was told that they actually paused it 
no pun intended, for a little bit and brought it back. So I, I, I have no idea. But once again, masturbating hippo, most memorable meme, Ghosties 2023. So cheers to Zamboni driver who manifests that one into reality, all right? Or Transbony or whoever he wants to be referred to that day, okay? So once again, masturbating hippo, courtesy of Zamboni, Transbony, Pepperoni, whatever his name is. Cheers to Zamboni, all right? Now, we do have an honorable mention, okay? The honorable mention for most memorable meme of the year, and I think everybody already knows it by now, is anything to do with Popeyes. Now, folks, I don't really want to go into why this whole Popeyes thing became a meme. Let's just say that somebody in the inner circle decided to have their own chat room and decided to, I don't know, allegedly, okay, groom people into, I guess, over-obsessing into Nazi-like stuff to the point in which one of them threatened to do something violent at a Popeye's. And as a result, uh, this is where this whole Popeye's meme came into play. Okay? So that's why the honorable mention for most memorable meme for 2023, Popeye's. Okay? That was, that was not a good time. I'll be honest with you. When you guys were doing all that trolling shit on Popeye's, I was not a happy camper at all, man. I was very concerned. All right? I was very, very concerned. What a fucking... Uh, what, what a night, dude. You know what I mean? I'm glad I didn't do this on New Year's Eve. I'll be honest with you, all right? I could only imagine what kind of mischief you people would fucking... Do. <laughs> oh, Christ. Cotton <laughs> Crusader! I will get my revenge against... All right, that's enough with the race. Dude, that's enough of this bullshit that you people are doing tonight, man. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, let's get to the next Ghosty Award, all right? Ghosties 2023, the worst TCR TGS character of 2023. Now, believe it or not, this didn't really come down close at all. So I'm pretty sure everybody is anticipating who this is. So without any further ado, worst TCR, worst ghost show character 2023 is the envelope, please. All right. It is none other than, and everybody's already putting it in the Vaughn chat, Al Chappers. Al Chappers, the worst TCR and ghost show character of 2023, and people actually nominated him in mass. In absolute mass, everybody nominated him. I'm not even joking around. Okay? And everybody was like, That's a, that was a sad chapter in the community. Uh, you know, hey... I mean, some people remember it like it was a memorable thing. It was a very, it was weird, dude. I'll be honest with you. And whatever happened to Al Chappers, I'm sorry. This fucking troll community is a sick piece of shit. You know, that, it, it's a, you know that's why, you know, whenever I get on these tirades where I, I really don't like doing this show, it's because of this crap. Uh, it's because of that garbage. But anyway, worst ghost show, True Capitalist Radio Show character in 2023 ghosties, Al Chappers. All right. Now, we do have an honorable mention that was nominated several times. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the honorable mention for worst TCR TGS character, all right? Envelope, please. And it's none other than Jag the Luxray, believe it or not. Jag the Luxray, worst ghost show, true capitalist radio, radio character, honorable time. mention. Bring me on the horn with Maria right now. I'm not done with that dude. It goes without saying, I have no respect for parents who neglect their obligations, fucking deadbeat dads. What? When was the last time that dude even saw his child? Who are you fucking, fucking dude? Who are you fucking talking about, old foxo? What the fuck is your problem? Jesus Christ, we're, we're trying to show... I, I think he's pissed that he's not being nominated for anything or some shit. Get out of here, El Foxo. Give me a break, man. I don't know if you have too much ketamine in your system, but calm your ass down. Jesus Christ. Anyway, once again, Ghosties 2023, Al Chapper is winner of the worst Ghost Show True Capitals radio character and honorable mention, Jag the Lux Ray. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do one more since, you know, we've been kind of, you know, having to do these goddamn videos and all these god everything that's just been happening today. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get to best VTuber of the year. And wait a minute, trolling the interwebs with a rumble rant. Are there any of my kids watching this? Wait, well, how the fuck? Shouldn't you know that they're trolling the interwebs? Why the fuck are you asking me? Are any of my kids watching? What the fuck does that mean? Anyway, I don't know what the hell that was about. Trolling the interwebs. I have no idea. All right. Anyway, without any further ado. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right. Hold on just a second there, Ghosto. All right. We're right in the middle of best VTuber of the year. And let the envelope, please. Ghosties 2023 best VTuber. And of course, it's none other than Pipkin Pippa which has been an obsession with this community for going on, I would say, two and a half, three years or some shit. I mean, this is all Winston Fujimori's deal, believe it or not. All right, Winston Fujimori crossed the past with this show and all the V... I mean, I got all kinds of VTubers now that are following yours truly. And cheers to all you guys out there, or females or whatever you are. There's a bunch of, you know, not assuming genders... But uh, I'll be honest with you, Pippa, when it comes to VTubers, has taken the VTuber world by storm. And the fact that whatever that bitch is, iron ass or iron tits or whatever, that won VTuber of the year this year, I think it's a total crock. I mean, Pipkin Pippa actually is trending on Twitter at times. And I have to give her credit. I mean, she has uh, whatever she's doing. She's doing it right. And she should have been the VTuber of the year, okay? I mean, she is making a bigger impact than Iron Twat or whatever the hell her name is, all right? So anyway, I just wanted to give that soliloquy, all right? Now, we do have an honorable mention when it comes to VTubers here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the honorable mention. And we got Winston Fujimori who said, I'm so happy what I have done with anime VTubers and your show. Look, it's all part of his master plan, old Winston Fujimori. All right, it's all part of his master plan. Anyway, honorable mention for best VTuber of the year, Ghosties 2023. The envelope, please. And I mean that about Pippa. I'd buy that for a uh, dollar. What, what is this? The winner of the worst ghost show no, character. Dude, shut the fuck up. All right, whoever the hell is doxing, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of crap. Anyway, best VTuber, all right? All right, honorable mention, Ghosties 2023, uh, excuse me, 2023, GX Aura, all right? I bet you thought I was going to say Dizzy Decora, or Decora, whatever the fuck her name is. I just, you know, she's got the big tits. That's, who, that's all anybody cares about anyway. But GX Aura actually has a fairly decent personality, and I think she comes across as a little bit personable and I think that uh, you, she's somebody to watch in my opinion for 2024 when it comes to VTubers in this realm of streaming alright GX Aura and it's not because she has GX in her name I just think that she has a fairly decent personality so once again VTuber of the year Pipkin Pippa who should have been VTuber of the year in general not Iron Crotch or whatever her name is, Pipkin Pippa, and of course, honorable mention for Ghosties 2023 Best VTuber, GX Aura. All right, so cheers to both of you, and hopefully you have a very successful streaming career, and hopefully my trolls don't fuck with you too much. All right, so cheers to both of you. All right, with that being said, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to the next Ghosties Award, okay, for 2023. Okay, without any further ado, this Ghostie Award is going to go out to the... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. The opening to your show should be a TF2 parody skit. Well, thank you for the suggestion there, Over the Hill Ghostler. We'll see what we can do. It's 2024, baby. We're gonna, we got a lot of things planned. Let's see if we can uh, uh, manifest them into reality, all right? Now, Happy New Year to you. And I hope you're doing good there, Chase Peters, all right? Uh, but anyway, this is Best Radio Graffiti Caller, okay? Best Radio Graffiti Caller, and this was a close one, all right? We had everybody in the committee 
scouring, making sure that we recounted and ca- we had mail-in ballots come in, made sure they counted. So without any further ado, let's go ahead. The envelope, please, for best radio graffiti caller, 2023 Ghosties. Here we go, all right? Best radio graffiti caller, Ghosties 2023, is Proud Bad Dragon. Believe it or not, Proud Bad Dragon actually won best radio graffiti caller and people really voted for him. I mean, it was close. It was very close. But uh, Proud Bad Dragon has been awarded Ghosties 2023 Best Radio Graffiti Caller. So I'm hoping Proud Bad Dragon is out there and he's heel kicking and he's bop- popping some bubbly. All right, to the news that he is Best Radio Graffiti Caller 2023. All right. Now we do have an honorable mention here. So without any further ado, let me have the envelope for the honorable mention, best radio graffiti caller. Are you fucking kidding? What the hell is this? Ghosto Majima, honorable mention. He's a troublemaker, dude. He's a he's a shit stirrer for Christ's sake. Ghosto Majima, honorable fucking mention. Wow. Look, everybody's saying rig now. How is this rigged? All right. We scoured through everyone's nomination, through every medium. What are you talking about? And Mark Vaughn.Live said, uh, uh, Ghost of Majima, honorable mention for worst taste in music. So there you you go. Anyway, that comprises the best radio graffiti callers. We still have a few more uh, categories here. We have next the best video donation or donator. We have the best TCR TGS fan of the year. We've got the best chat room of the year, the best chatter of the year, uh, the best troll of the year, and of course, the always coveted capitalist of the year. Okay? So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to another video. And by the way, Jag the Lux Ray again with another video. And Jag the Lux Lux Ray said, Hey, Ghost, uh, I thought I'd donate another video since the previous one was for the trolls. This time, it's a music video with a song made by one of the greatest rock bands in rock history. And their songs are still hits to this day. Hope you enjoy this video and cheers. And by the way, Jag the Lux Ray put a warning out to you people that are using his content. I'd buy that for a dollar. Let's be honest for a few seconds. Maria should break her hip on the show for content. Dude, Alfonso, what's your fucking problem tonight, man? Seriously, what the hell is your fucking problem? Are you fucking joking? Jesus Christ. All right, let's get to the next uh, category of ghosties here. I mean, we're in the way of the wee hours here. And the next category is best video donator and donation. And or donation, okay? A lot of people were nominated for this. So we had to scour through all the nominations in order to make this assessment, and it's in this envelope right here. So this is for best video donator or slash donation. The envelope, please. Believe it or not, the best video donator for Ghosties 2023 is Prolapse Pete. Believe it or not. Prolapse Pete is best video donator 2023 ghosties and cheers to prolapse pete for christ's sake all right i hope that uh that makes you feel a little funny in the pants because there's a lot of folks that really don't like some of those 3d cool world you know whatever that you donate but uh uh, it seems that this is a general consensus and it's okay with many of the chat rooms if you could look at the reaction here so cheers to prolapse pete and let's see what 2024 has in store. All right. Cheers to Prolapse Pete. Congratulations. Now let's get to an honorable mention here. And believe it or not, this was the second honorable mention that was nominated by many. Here we go. The winner is Haywood. Believe it or not. Haywood, honorable mention. 
for best donator, okay, and of course the winner of best donator is Prolapse Pete. Ghosties 2023. So congratulations to you both. All right, we're going for the best chat room. All right. Now, the best chat room was a unfortunately no-brainer because everybody and their brother... I don't even need to fucking... I don't even need to open this. Obviously, it's Vaughn chat, all right? Everybody and their brother in Vaughn chat voted, all right? And, uh, but you know what? We do have an honorable mention, okay? Even though Vaughn chat is Ghosties 2023 winner of best chat room, we're going to go ahead and get to the honorable mention, all right? Honorable mention is D-Live, okay? D-Live is honorable mention because everybody over there is actually fairly cool, and for whatever reason, they're hated on by the Vaughn chat, and I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, so there you are. The Once again, the winners of the best chat room, the winner is... Vaughn chat runner up is none other than D Live. Cheers to each and every one of you. And of course, I'm being booed over there at Rumble and certainly being booed over there at Kick. All right, what can I tell you, man? All right, what can I tell you? <sighs> anyway, sorry. All right, let's go ahead. I guess let, let's go ahead and get to the Ghosties fan of the year. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now, folks, unfortunately, I left two categories um, on the table on the last broadcast because everybody pissed me off on the show here. So we're going to go ahead and get to fan of the year here. And this is a big coveted uh, uh, award that uh, everybody really wants. All right. So we like counted all the votes that were in. There was a lot of votes on hashtag ghosties 2023 on Twitter. And also folks, uh, uh, posting what they wanted on the comment section of ghost.report. Uh, but let's just see who the winner is, shall we? The winner for fan of the year, Ghosties 2023, is... Oh, jeez, you got to be kidding me. Winston fucking fucked up Fujimori, fan of the fucking year, and this was based on the votes that were actually fucking going out there and tallied in every fucking capacity. Winston fucked up Fujimori, fan of the fucking year. And look, no, everybody, look, everybody's rigger, rigger. I'm not a fucking dirty rigger, assholes, all right? This was based on all the votes that came in, you stupid son of a bitch. Stop saying that I'm some kind of a filthy, disgusting, dirty rigger, all right? Fucking piece of shit. Anyway, we do have, believe it or not, we. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. I'd buy that uh, for X a mention, dollar. Zachary Ghosty. All right, thank you, Kadu. And hey, Fruitcake Texan, we'll get to yours in just a second, all right? Anyway, we've got some honorable mentions for the Go Show True Capitalist Radio Fan of the Year. All right, now the first, believe it or not, honorable mention for Fan of the Year is, all right? All right, let's go ahead. What is this? Whoa, this is a shocker. Trolling the interwebs, believe it or not, who just found the show this past spring and who's been a major contributor in many capacities. He's a member of the Thunderdome. He's a member of the Inner Circle. Uh, he just donated about 70 or 80 bucks right now on uh, Rumble. Uh, let me tell you, trolling the interwebs, Believe it or not, if you're listening, if it's not late where you're at, you are honorable mention fan of the year when it comes to the Ghosties 2023. And dude, stop saying that I'm a fucking rigger, all right? Jesus Christ. All right, this is based upon a variety of different factors. And you people, you know what? Uh, you know what? Listen. But anyway, folks, before we get to Radio Graffiti, it is that time for the announcement of the last ghostie of 2023, and that is Capitalist of the Year, okay? Capitalist of the Year. Now, this is a very coveted uh, award that shows that uh, somebody within the community exerted themselves in a very capitalistic capacity. And uh, 
that's what this represents. Everybody wants this particular award. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to the Capitalist of the Year, Ghosties 2023. And the winner is, okay, can you give me the envelope, please? There, here we go. And the Capitalist of the Year for Ghosties 2023 is Haywood. Believe it or not, it was overwhelming vote throughout every avenue that we collected votes. Haywood is the Capitalist of the Year. And I'm not too sure if Haywood is watching or listening, uh, but if you are, uh, the community has paid its homage to you. And uh, I hope that, you know, you're shedding a little bit of a fucking tear out there. All right. All right, Haywood. So cheers to Haywood. But we do have an honorable mention. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and open up the envelope for Ghosties 2023 Honorable Mention of Capitalist of the Year. All right. Cheers and, 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 and cheers to Haywood, by the way, the official winner. Here is honorable mention. There we go. Honorable mention for 2023 Capitalist of the Year. I think it goes without saying uh, this person has not only flexed their nuts on this show, but has done, show, done so in many, many other shows. And I'm talking about none other than Over the Hill Ghostler. A.K.A. Chase Peters. All right. Uh, honorable mention, and, you know, he probably should have been one of the contenders for Capitalist of the Year, but it was overwhelming Haywood. But definitely, uh, once again, Over the Hill Ghostler, A.K.A. Chase Peters, the honorable mention for Capitalist of the Year. So cheers to you guys, and uh, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I do want to say that uh, 2024, we got a whole lot more, baby. All right, we got a whole lot more. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead, since we were just talking about Over the Hill Ghostler over here. Uh, 